Hello boys and girls and to all the parents who are watching this with your littles. This is Storytime with Pixie, brought to you by Cottage Doll Press. Today we're going to read one of my favourites. It's called Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time there was a giant who lived in a castle way up high in the clouds. Every year at this time the giant went to visit his mother. Isn't that nice? He visits his mother. And he asked his friend Dotty to keep an eye on his place. Also, once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack who lived on a very poor farm with his mother and his cow and one chicken. Every year at this time, Jack planted seeds for a little garden. But this year, there were no seeds to be found. Oh, what's this? Oof! Boink! Ouch! Oh, giant! Beans were raining from the sky. Oh dear, would someone big come looking for them? Well, very quickly, I can tell you, Jack planted and watered those beans. The next morning, Jack checked on his beans. What? Oh my gosh, says his mum. Oh wow, said the cow. Golly gee, said Jack. His mother said, well, I guess you're going to have to climb that beanstalk. You need to tell someone thank you for these giant beanstalks. Jack climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed and he climbed some more. And when he reached the top of the beanstalk, can you guess what he saw? Oh, well, sure, there's a castle. There always is, isn't there? But what else? There was a little girl. Hello, said Jack. Howdy do, said the little girl. She was sitting among a beautiful garden full of fruits and vegetables and flowers, the sizes of which Jack had never seen before, except, of course, for the beanstalk that he'd just planted. Well, Dotty showed Jack around the place. Jack told Dotty about his poor little farm, and he told her about the big beans. Oops, said Dotty. I wondered where they went. They must have just plum rolled off cloud. Dotty was sad for Jack and his mother, so she gave him a very special gift to take home. It was giant beans, as many as Jack could fill in his knapsack. Dotty said, I think the giant would want you to have these, Jack. So Jack and his mother were never hungry again, and in fact, no one in their village was ever hungry again. For can you imagine how many people one of those carrots could feed? And thanks to Dotty, Jack, and the giant, there was plenty of food to share forever and ever. The end. Now, boys and girls, tune in tomorrow. I think we might be reading... The Three Little Pigs. Ta-ta!